What's up, slackers? Welcome to Book Cheats. My friends said I couldn't pull it off. But I did it anyway. I tried. The man button. Anyway, today we'll be talking about To Kill a Mockingbird, Chapter 11. Let's get right into the chapter. So one of the big things in this chapter, and what this chapter revolves around, is one of Scout and Jem's neighbors, Mrs. Henry Lafayette Du Bois. If you guys don't remember who Mrs. Du Bois is, she's the neighbor who's opposite the street of Boo Radley, to where when they were little kids it was their boundaries. And Mrs. Lafayette's house leads into town. Scout in earlier chapters talked about how she was so scared of Miss Du Bois because she was such a cranky old woman. Jim and Scout though, in this chapter, they're getting older and they're getting more comfortable expanding their boundaries. And now every single day, Jim and Scout walk into town past Miss Henry Lafayette Du Bois' house to welcome Atticus home from work and sometimes to go shopping. And since they were going into town every single day, Mrs. Du Bois would always sit on her porch and yell at Jim and Scout. She'd always say mean things like Scout was ugly. You're a bunch of ugly little kids and I don't want you walking around my property. And that she was going to call the principal on them and that they were just bad kids in general. When Mrs. Du Bois learned that Atticus was their father, she started to say really mean things about Atticus. She would say stuff like Atticus was a terrible father and other stuff like that. And Atticus always told Jem to always be a gentleman to Miss Du Bois. And Jem would always ignore her mean comments. It was getting closer to summer and Jem's birthday rolled around. Jem had saved up enough money to buy himself a toy steam train and to buy Scout a pink baton that she had been looking at for a long time. You know one of those batons like for the marching band? As Jim and Scout walked into town on Jim's birthday, Mrs. Du Bois was on her porch, and this time she crossed the line. As they're walking by, she said her usual insults, but this time she said that Atticus was no better than a black man and that he was complete trash. Jim's face turned red, and you could see that he was visibly affected by Mrs. Du Bois's words. That Atticus is a black man lover, and he's nothing better than trash. Mrs. Du Bois saw that Jim was affected and she got a smirk on her face. Jim and Scout continued walking into town where Jim bought himself a tram and also bought Scout the pink marching band baton. As they were walking back to their house from town, Scout kept dropping her baton because she couldn't catch it very well when she would throw it up in the air. When they were passing Mrs. Du Bois' house, Jim stopped and he looked super pissed. <sighs> Mrs. Du Bois wasn't on her porch when they came back, and Jem grabbed Scout's baton and sprinted into the yard and started to beat up Mrs. Du Bois' Camilla flowers. He thrashed them all to pieces, and he took the baton and snapped it over his knee and threw it on the ground. Scout was screaming because in her eyes, Jem had completely lost his mind, and Jem sprinted out and grabbed Scout by the hair and had to drag her home because Scout was so upset about her baton and Jem freaking out. <laughs> that day, they didn't go down the street to meet Atticus as he came home from work, and they just nervously waited for Atticus at home. Calpurnia seemed to know something was up, and when Atticus got home, he immediately called Jem's name. Fear immediately struck their bones. Fear. It was the final frontier. Jem and Scout were scared and walked towards Atticus, and Atticus had the broken baton in his hands. Atticus asked Jem if he did this, and Jem said that yes he did. Atticus asked him why he did it, and Jem said that it was because Mrs. Du Bois called Atticus a black man lover and said that Atticus was trash. Atticus was shocked and said that Jem had no right to get mad at an old lady and that she was in a lot of pain and that he should always be a gentleman to her. Atticus told Jem to go down the street and talk to Mrs. Du Bois. Jem begrudgingly left the house and while Jem was down talking to Mrs. Du Bois, Scout sat on Atticus's lap and asked Atticus why he was defending Tom Robinson. Atticus explained again that his conscience wouldn't let him not defend Tom Robinson. Jem came back from Mrs. Du Bois' house and Atticus asked how it went. Jem said that he apologized even though he didn't mean it and he offered to go by every Saturday to fix her flowers till they were as good as new. 
Then he explained that Mrs. Du Bois refused this and asked Jem to go by every single day after school and read to her for two hours, and that he was supposed to do this for one month's time. Jem asked Atticus if he really had to do this, and Atticus said that yes, he did. The following Monday after school, Scout and Jem headed down the street to Mrs. Du Bois's house and knocked on the door. Jessie, Mrs. Du Bois's caretaker, who was a black woman who also cleaned her house, answered the door and let them in. Why, why don't you come on in, children? Mrs. Du Bois's house smelled really bad, and it was honestly kind of creepy. They were led into Mrs. Du Bois' bedroom, where Mrs. Du Bois was on the bed, and she greeted Jem and Scout by asking Jem if that was his ugly sister. Jem defended Scout and said that she wasn't ugly and that he wasn't scared of her. Mrs. Du Bois nodded and asked for Jem to start reading. Jem brought with him the book Ivanhoe, and Jem started to read the book to Mrs. Du Bois. Mrs. Du Bois told them to come closer. Come closer, children. Jem and Scout moved their chairs to the side of Mrs. Du Bois' bed, and Jem started reading the book again. Every time Jem didn't know a word in the book, he would try to skip it, and Mrs. Du Bois would interrupt him and tell him to spell it out, and she would tell him the word. Mrs. Du Bois interrupted Jem all the time. I want you to stop. Come here. This is Come here. Come here. You know what? Come here. And corrected him. And after about 20 minutes, Mrs. Du Bois was out cold. Jim tried to talk to her to see if she was faking, and as he tried to talk to her, an alarm suddenly went off. Jim and Scout jumped. They had only been there for about 20 minutes, and Jesse the caretaker came in and rushed them out the door. They were home to their house before 40 minutes was up. When Atticus got home from work, he asked how the whole thing went, and Jem said that it wasn't as bad as he thought it was going to be. Scout said that she was still scared of Mrs. Du Bois. Every time they went, it was the same. They would first get to the house, and Mrs. Du Bois would give them a hard time, and then Jem would read until the alarm went off, and then they would be rushed out the door. One day after reading, when Atticus got home, Scout asked Atticus what a black man lover meant. Again, clearly that's what they said in this book. Atticus was shocked and asked if somebody was calling her that at school. Scout said that she wasn't called that at school and that Mrs. Du Bois would say that about Atticus and that Francis said it about Atticus too. Atticus asked if that's why Scout beat Francis up and Scout said that yes, that's the reason why. Atticus said that black man lover was a derogatory term that trashy people used, and what it basically meant was that you loved black people more than your own race. He told Scout that it was a common term, and that it didn't really mean anything, but that it was really ugly and mean. Scout asked Atticus if he was, in fact, a black man lover. Atticus said that of course he was, and that he loved everybody. And he told Scout that people will try to use words to control you and insult you, and that you should have the self-control to not be offended. The next day, Jem and Scout were at Mrs. Du Bois' house reading, and there was a knock at the door. It was Atticus. Atticus came in and asked why they were still there, because it had been hours. Jem and Scout didn't realize it, but every day that they would go over to Mrs. Du Bois, she would slowly make the alarm a little longer and a little longer every day, until every day they were there for about two hours and they didn't even realize it. Atticus remarked that Jem only had one more week of reading and Jem was shocked and said that it wasn't fair. Jem was secretly starting to like going to Mrs. Du Bois's to read. It isn't fair, hmm. The last day they were there where Jem was required to read for Mrs. Du Bois, they stayed at her house for hours past what they were supposed to until Mrs. Du Bois told them that they had to go and pretty much ended the conversation by saying thank you in her Way. When Scout and Jem walked home, they were relieved and excited to be done. A month later, after they stopped going to Mrs. Du Bois's, Atticus got a call on the phone. Atticus left the house and didn't get home till past Jem and Scout's bedtime. When he got home, he sat Jem and Scout down and told Jem and Scout that Mrs. Du Bois was dead. Atticus also explained that Mrs. Du Bois was a morphine addict and that the times that Jem and Scout would go over, she was trying to resist morphine to have a few clear moments before she died and that reading was the only thing that helped her bear through it. Atticus said that she was probably in so much pain that she didn't hear a word of Jem's reading. Atticus said that Mrs. Du Bois left something for Jem and she handed Jem a candy box. And Jem opened up the candy box, and inside the candy box 
was a fresh camilla flower from her garden. Jem shrieked and dropped the candy box and asked why Mrs. Du Bois couldn't leave him alone. Atticus said that Mrs. Du Bois was one of the bravest women he had ever known. And Jem was really hurt by her death, and he grabbed the candy box and threw it into the fire. This is too my candy! Jem secretly grabbed the flower from the ground, and he went upstairs. Scout went upstairs and saw Jem in his bed stroking the flower. And that concludes the chapter. Thanks so much for watching Book Cheats. Please leave that like and subscribe. If you have any questions from your homework, leave a comment down below, and I'll try to get to it as soon as I can. You guys have an awesome day. And man gone hard.